I'm Larry Souder, and welcome to Souder and Friends. They have been buddies since 1999. Jim Bradford, who is old enough to be his father, and then some, came across a disabled little blind boy seated at a table listening to his radio. This unlikely friendship is chronicled in a book entitled The Awakening of H.K. Derryberry, available at Amazon.com. They shared their story with me before a live audience. In part two, we learn of HK's remarkable memory. Let's talk about this uh, highly superior autobiographical memory. Yes. Explain how that works. Do you what what goes through your head? Is there, is there constant flashes of the past? I, I just know that I I remember stuff that everything that has happened to me every minute of the day. Since I was about two and a half years old. Is that a blessing or a curse? Blessing. Do you ever have bad thoughts? I mean, you have to have bad thoughts or good things and bad things happen. Well, you know, I remember um, all the good and the bad. I remember the bad, but I don't dwell on them. I only dwell on the positive. On October 30th, 2000, the Tennessee Titans beat the Washington Redskins <laughs> in Monday night. Now, his memory is a wonderful thing because I didn't know he had it for the first two years that we were buddies. Mm. And I found out at church one day. And uh, as we're walking down the hall to worship, and as we walked by, HK stopped real abruptly, and we almost fell down. And I said, what is it, HK? He said, who said the meeting is on Thursday the 11th? I said, what do you mean? said, some man said the meeting is on Thursday the 11th. Well, Thursday is the night, not the 11th. <laughs> and I said, HK, how did you know about the date? He said, I just know dates. I said, what do you mean you know dates? He said, if you'll tell me your birthday, I'll tell you the day of the week of your next birthday, June 17th. He said, Thursday. I said, how did you know that? I, he said, my Grammy says I have a gift. I just know dates. I said, well, I didn't know you could do that. He said, you never asked me. <laughs> So, so that's the way I found out about his ability to, to do the dates. But that's something separate from the hyperthymesia or the highly superior autobiographical memory. The memory thing is there's about 14 people in the entire world that has had a case study done on them that has this ability to recall every minute of every day of your life. And they say that it's a bad thing. You ask if it was good or bad. For, they say it's bad because that's, that's all they can think about is those dates and those things that happened on those dates. For HK, his memory has been a blessing for some of his good friends like me. For example, the 18-year friendship, I have never missed our anniversary. <laughs> but it also can be an embarrassment to some of his real close friends like me. And I'll give you an example, Kevin, my why. Kevin, if you kept up with the Titans, Kevin was a professional NFL football player for 17 years. But they talked, and he said, HK, have you ever seen a Titans game? I've been to a preseason game, not a regular. Well, how would you like to go to a regular season game? I would love to. How would you like to sit in the skybox with my family? I would love to. Kevin, are any of the games sold out? Oh, sure, HK. All the Titans games are sold out. I don't know why, because y'all are no good. <laughs> Got a heavy thing that I'd like to ask HK? Since he's good with dates, my birth date is March 12th, 1944. What day of the week? You were born on a Sunday. Amen. <laughs> March 12th, that was the day after the earthquake and tsunami hit Japan hmm. in 2011. Anybody else want to give their age? Would somebody give HK a date in the last five years? March 3rd, 2011. That was a Thursday, and the Dow Jones and Dutchfields went down 95 points that day. June 30th, 1950. You were born on a Friday. And anything happened on her birthday? That day in 2005, the first woman on the U.S. Supreme Court, Sandra D. O'Connor uh, retired. My birthday is on February 10th. What day is my birthday on this year? This year it was a Friday. What yeah, year were you born? 2005. 
you were born on a Thursday on your birthday when you were one year old. They had the opening ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Reno, Italy. Right. Very good. <clears throat> Do you read Braille and type Braille as well? Yes. That is the reason I am literate. And I might tell you also, to use a Braille machine is like using a computer. It takes two hands. He had a stroke after birth, so he's, he's paralyzed on his right side. He became the first student in the history of the school to learn to use a Braille machine with one hand. And because of that, he was one half the speed of the other students, but he's literate. Some of HK's other accomplishments include piloting a pontoon boat, taking the controls of an airplane, and snow skiing. I am the best blind skier in the whole wide world. Now you're laughing, folks, but this year in January, he will go skiing for the eighth consecutive year. But uh, the first year, he got back from Colorado, Snowmass, Colorado. So I called him about 11 o'clock to see how his trip was. And the first thing he said, Mr. Bradford, you're not going to believe this. I got a plaque. I got an award. I said, for what? He said, they voted me best blind skier ever. So let's go ahead and play that video of uh, HK skiing. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Anything else you want to say? This is the, I'm the best blind skier ever. Yes, you are. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you so I'm Larry Souter, and that's Souter and Friends. <laughs>